Okay. It's a bit of a mess in here right now where I've been making axes, but it's actually quite a mess. But anyways, got a couple of these old propane tanks and they've actually got some, I've actually got a few of them. And there's a, I guess that's a bleeder valve right there, that screw here on the side. And so what I plan to do is drain these very good and uh, fill them up with water from what I've seen. And I'm gonna try to make a wood stove out of them. So what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and drain this one. See how that goes, I'm gonna have to take it outside in the shed, but I may, I may just go on and take it out, see what it does. It just takes a straight edge screwdriver here, it looks like. What I'm gonna do is just take it out. Okay, yeah, uh, stuff stinks. See if you can hear it here. I'm sure you can. So that little screw right there that you want to open up. I'm guessing that'll take a while. Time to drain. Okay, I let them, uh, I let those drain overnight, those tanks. Still not, uh, gonna take any chances though but anyways i got this off of my grill here i just uh took got a pair of uh pliers and unscrewed it broke it loose and then took it off but i'm gonna put it on this side and this is what opens the valve inside of this uh tank i think i think we're good there's no sound coming out or anything as i said i let these i turn the bleeder screw and then I left this uh, open all the way. I opened it all the way and left them all night overnight. So should be good. Oh, I a beautiful morning. Oh, a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful I think these are completely empty. Everything's going my way. This one. I'm going to use a cutting wheel here. This one is 364 an inch thick, four and a half diameter. This is just something I bought them in a pack at uh, Harbor Freight. They're called Warrior. I'm still nervous, honestly, cutting on this thing, period. Hopefully, um, I don't blow myself up. I'm going to try to cover the, that the head of this thing. There's three welds here. There's one on each side and one on the back. And so I'm going to cut this off so that I can get to this easier. Take that off easier. It's not a racking part to me. Cutting on this thing at all. Here we go. Actually cut very easy. As you can see that well just cut. And I'm just taking it off to make it easier to access this valve here. Take so I can get it off. Easy. I'd rather have it like this so I could have a cooking surface here. That's kind of important to me. But uh, again, 
I could make the pipe come out the back here, and this could be a cooking surface. That, that would work. That would work quite well. Or this could be the cooking surface. Yeah, that right there, actually. So I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I do. I believe that's what I'm going to do. So next step is to get this thing out. And I'm going to fill this up with water probably three or four or five times. The more the better. Just to make sure that all the propane comes out of this. Because from what I'm understanding and what I'm learning. From, and this is purely for me learning from other guys. Like I have many other things on there. That's why I love YouTube. I love that about it. But uh, they, they pretty much show you step by step. And they're talking about how propane is heavier than air than the air itself. So it, it's hard to just get it out of there. You kind of got to push it out. And that water, I guess, pushes it out. Anyways, the next step now is to beat this thing off here. And I do think I'm going to make it upright like this. But I'm going to try to make my stovepipe probably come out in the back, maybe. I'm not positive. I feel like if I did that, I'd lose a lot of heat instantly, too, though. Really don't know. So I've heard they use some sort of epoxy or something to, to seal these things. They're, they're, they make them to where they're not meant to come out. So a hammer, from what they say, is. I ain't gonna lie, this is nerve wracking anytime you're banging on something like this. That's doing it though, as you see. Rotate it. Oh, yeah. Can be pressure. It got locked tight or something on that. All right. There it is. All right. Ooh, I smell it. As soon as that comes out, I smell it. Whew, I smell it strong. <laughs> there it is, though. Go take it to the water hose. <coughs> Actually, I'm going to do my second one, but I'm not going to show that because it's the same process as this. Then I'm going to take them both to the water hose. I did see another guy kind of use this method, too, of just where you, cut, where you take the valve off, setting it upside down on top of this. He said leave it overnight, and I guess that allows that propane to drain out like that. So, I'm going to do the water method. I've left this all night. I'm going to do the water method, and then I feel feel like it'll be good to cut on. Okay, here's the second one. I wanted to show you the threads on this. See that blue stuff there? I've heard people call that epoxy. It looks like some sort of Loctite or something similar. So there's a line that goes all the way around the tank where the weld's at. And from what I understand, one of the guys was saying to cut your door below that line. That way, when you open it, your smoke goes up. It has this cylinder here to go up into and draft out through the pipe rather than coming back out the door. That's what I'm going to do. These little uh, stoves are supposed to get really hot and, and work very good. This is a 10 foot by 22 foot shed. I'm thinking it'll warm it great. So, not insulated the greatest either, but I think it has a little bit of insulation, but nothing's nothing great. So I'm still nervous about cutting on it. Still 
Okay. Someone was saying to burn these tanks. I may do that because I'm a little nervous still to, to, to cut on this thing, to be honest with you. It smells like propane strong still. So of course it's going to, but I think I'm going to burn them, burn the tanks. As you can see here, I've just kind of cut a line through. Tried to, I've just kind of eyeballed it. You could probably be better to mark it out, but I'm going to have a door covering it anyways. What I'm going to do is cut uh, a door out of another tank. That's what one guy was saying to do. And the reason why is because it matches the angle perfectly, you know, or very close to what you need. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just started at this weld line here with mine and came down to about right here to where... It, before it starts to round over. You want to burn the stove? Yeah. Yep. It's going to be the door right here. Hey, how are you going to turn it into it? I'm going to cut the door out here. Yeah. And you cut out the top up here for the pipe. Yeah. The pipe goes up here. And then you can use one of these as a stand for it. Okay? Yeah. And then, uh... How'd you get that? What? That, the white thing. That's the thing I cut off the top up here. Oh. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? And there will be a little door right here with a hinge. You remember where them hinges were? Remember okay. I had them somewhere. Where That's a good job them? for you. See if you can find them. I I see see if you can find them and stay over there because I'm about to try to cut it this out. Huh? I think it's over here somewhere. Just uh, stay out of the way where I, this won't shoot at you because it might shoot right where you're at. gonna be awesome when we get done. I got Cordy in here with me. <laughs> Come on, Kiana. My little potney. Too short to even be in the camera. There he is. <laughs> Standing on tiptoes. <laughs> We've been uh hey here's the thing too I've been selling firewood now this is my fourth year and I've never had a wood burner stove since I've been an adult. So that's something isn't it? So I've been wanting one for a long time. I remember having one when I was a little boy at one point, but I mean, I barely remember it. So I don't have the wood stove experience. Burned a lot of bonfires and a lot of campfire, quite I would, what I would consider a lot. But uh, as far as being able to sit inside and have a wood, uh, fire gun and wood burner stove, no, I've not really had that experience and I'm very excited to, especially doing my own wood. Okay, Carter, watch up. Hey, look in that thing. Okay. Yep. Bring my mall head over here and chalk this side because the ground is pulling it towards me. So if you have any type of wedge, if you don't have yours in the vice or anything, that's what I would do. Yeah, I think we're done with the door. Okay. With a little one of these. Where's it? Look at that. Now it's starting to look like a wood stove. Look at that. It's already smoking. Yep. <laughs> That awesome? Yeah. This ain't gonna be the door, this thing, Corey. Like very short. Good thing is I can use that for something else yeah. later. So I'm gonna cut the door out of the other one because I need it to be a, a little bigger. Yeah. That's where the wood's gonna go. Are you gonna like stick it like on this side or that side? I don't know, probably. Probably this side, probably this side. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Got that cut out. And as I said, one of the guys was saying 
not to use this, you know, because you're gonna let air get in and I can see why, you know, it's gonna have gaps. So what I'm gonna do is probably trace that on my other tank and then go out maybe half an inch all the way around the perimeter of it, a little farther, half an inch farther or so. And we, when you cut that out of the other tank, it's gonna have that same shape to it. So it should fit pretty tight. He was showing, giving tips on how to do it. And I may link his uh, channel because he knows a whole lot more about them than I do. I'm just building this because I want to and I want to document it while I was doing it, record it while I'm doing it. So that's what it looks like so far. Now, the, the other tank, I'll get it and cut my door out. Okay. Tank number two here. Okay. Uh, there's the top. So I'm going to set them to the top. Hey guys, I watch. And then this hinge, I, bought, I think it's like a gate hinge. Hopefully that'll work. See, it's got three ho or two hoes there, three there, and then one at the very end. It should work just fine. The guy that I watched, uh, one of them, though, he uses all salvage parts, so that's what I'm doing, too. I mean, that's not salvage, but I bought that and had it left over. So I guess maybe that's salvage in a way. Maybe that is salvage. Carter. 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 Okay, now I've, I've traced that door and I'm just gonna use some sort of marker or pencil or something to just kind of go about half an inch farther than that, at least. Get all my critters in here. That's another thing I'm gonna use it for too is to keep them warm. Big Pyrenees here, Moses. Tommy over there, the Tomcat. Angel, another cat. There's one of the other cats. Where's she at? What, what did we name her, Carter? Um, name her? I think Callie. Callie. Put her in there. Can you see Callie there? She's right up from Tommy, so I'm guessing you can. She's kind of okay. blending in. Okay. But anyway, she's the only female one we got, and the males try to pick on her. As you can see there, I just kind of traced that with a scraper. Yeah, but I'm going to go out a little bit farther. So I'm going to come out to about, like I said, about half an inch past it. And I just need a line. Of, yeah, there we go. That should up just fine. Yep, carpenter pencil works just fine. Okay, there you go. You record this part. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go about a half an inch over top. Come down here below about half an inch. I'm not trying to make this perfect. <laughs> you can, I mean, I'm sure you'd look better. Just wanna keep it warm here, but I want it to look decent too, honestly. Yeah. So. You can keep that if you want it. Oh, really? Yeah, I got two of them. How kind. <laughs> How kind of you, sir? I even got like those plier things. Okay, I cut the door out. I hope that was recording it, because just now it wasn't. <laughs> So hopefully we got it. So the door is quite a bit bigger than this opening. Let me show you. Hopefully it even fits around it. There's our opening. It'll fit around it. I marked it with the other one. There's the weld. Now one thing he, the guy was saying in his video is you got to grind the edges of this weld off to make this door close flush. Do that. Back to the grinder. So, about like that. For the door. I have to clean it up a little. Yeah. Until. Yeah. But yep, that's gonna be the door. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna cut this weld right here with my grinding disc. Can't wait. <laughs> that right there is gonna be on. It. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my grinding disc and start grinding that down. Okay. 
Got this weld here on this door though, that way it'll lay flush and grinded it down. There's, it's still sticking up a little, but I'm gonna see, Let's see how that fits. Oh yeah, that fits good, doesn't it? Fits better. As long as I'd like it to be. Thinking of <clears throat> trying to modify this a little bit. This is just an old wheel. Doesn't have a very big hole in it though. That's the only thing I'm wondering about. I don't know how well that'll work. Oh, never in my life have I ever had that happen with an angle grinder. And that hurt. That hurt bad. Wow. Always been afraid of that happening. Man, that hurt. That hit me right in the leg. The disc. Snapped on me. Oh, not trying to be a sissy. That hurt. That hurt bad. I was. I was worried it cut me. It didn't. Thank goodness. I've always been afraid of that happening. Okay, what I'm doing here now? I found this old uh, wheel to a lawnmower, and uh, I'm just kind of cutting, cutting out here. I'm gonna seal it with this stuff, which is supposed to be good to two thousand. A degrees Fahrenheit, it says. Wow, Bought that from Lowe's. That's very hot. So it's like a heat resistant silicone stove and fireplace, it says. Got it. Finally got it. So there's what it'll look like. Like this, just with the hinge, put my washers on each side, three on each side. And these are gonna be hidden, these washers, so they'll be on the inside. Just to kind of make the hinge stick out a little more for the door. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this. That draft is working great. And this thing is getting warm already. Man, that's a rewarding process. Look at that. An old wheel right there. This is that heat resistant silicone. It looks like it's some smoke escaping there. So what I'll have to do there later is put some more there then. There is some smoke escaping around that. That's the only place I see it coming from though, is right there. So what I'm gonna do is add some more right there. Just a little bit of smoke. I've got a vent up there in the top too. So that smoke, will, that little bit that's coming through will probably go right up there through the vent. This thing's getting warm already. Oh man, this is exciting. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Let me show you kind of how I did this. There's my. There's my uh, hinge right there. I put some washers on the inside. A smaller one down there. Put two nuts right there and a washer. Here's the handle I made out of a propane tank. 
And what happens, there's my hands there. The door, I cut off another tank. I put a latch over here. Just put uh, a bolt through there and I've got a washer on the other side. And then let's see how well this seals. There we go. That thing's roaring. You can hear it. Oh man. Yep, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. So there's my latch. I just made that out of the top of another propane tank. Don't get too close. Ain't that cool? Yeah, good too. Once you close the door in that building, it would warm up. Now the next project is to clean the building and keep the fire going. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm happy with that. Oh, that so good. I've got metal up there, so I'm not too worried. I tore the wood out that was up there. And I've got to get some silicone up there or a boot or something. This one's maybe 12 inches or something. <laughs> not real big, but... This thing gets pretty warm. Oh, yeah. And I really like how I put this on. I'm gonna paint it still too. I love how I put this uh, wheel on it from the mower. Cause I think it's somewhat like a heat exchanger and I put the pipe down in it. And then I got that heat resistant silicone and as you can see and put around there to seal it up. There's my door. I'm on my hand up close to it. <laughs> And I just made this latch right here for the handle and the door handle out of the bottom of the propane tank that I cut. I just cut my grinder and, and cut those into pieces. And I made the latch and uh, this piece here to hold the latch. I how you did that. And then the pipe goes up right here. And it's in metal, so I'm not worried about it getting too hot. And then I've got a rain guard for it up, up top. I've still got to put on it. As you can see, it's not too straight right now because I've got way too much pipe out the top of it. It took a lot less than I thought it would. Oh, yeah. And so I'm going to have to cut the pipe up there a little bit. And uh, I'm, I plan to put a couple braces on it and then put that rain shield on it. But right now this thing is, it's warm. Oh, yeah. It's so and I really like the wheel. I think that makes it look, look better. I've never seen one like that. Not only that, I can probably uh, use that to maybe like heat up some coffee or something on. Yeah. So I really like, I really like that. I think it's like a heat exchanger too, though. Like it, this, this thing itself gets very hot and, and helps preserve the heat before it just goes out the pipe. And it's very, so I'm, very I'm very happy with this design. Oh, yep. We've been trying to clean the shed up now. We've got it cleaned a whole lot better. Oh, it was a mess after me doing the ax building. Oh, yeah. And I think I'm going to try to do something else too, as far as like that piece of tin there. I don't really like the look of that. I may cut it down. And I, I like being able to look at my window, so I may try to cut it down and just run a thin strip up. That way the wall doesn't get too hot there. They are loving it. <laughs> Angel and Tommy both like it. I knew whenever they found out about it, they would they would like it. Got some old chair legs in there right now with some cherry wood. See how that silicone dried there, and it seems to have taken care of the the air that was coming out, or the smoke that was coming out. It's high temp silicone is supposed to be good for 2,000 degrees. Now the next thing I plan to get for this thing is a damper. I plan to get a damper to put on it, and also I plan to paint it. And I'll probably get one of those uh, fans and uh put one of those on it as well i'm very happy with how this thing turned out honestly i am right now i'm feeling some great heat from it of course i'm close to it but it actually warms this shed pretty well definitely does this side of it you know this is a pretty long shed so 22 feet long but uh this is my work area over here and so uh uh, whenever I'm working in here or whatever and it's cold, I can start a fire in there and stay pretty warm, pretty comfortable. I don't have a damper. You know, the damper, to the best of my knowledge, is to slow down your heat loss. You know, what you're losing out there, right there, you got to think heat rises. So a lot of that heat is just going straight up through that pipe. But if you've got a damper, you know, you can adjust that once your fire is going good like this one. And, uh... You're, you leave it open just enough for your smoke to go out, but you're, you want to keep as much heat in as you can. So I definitely want to get a damper, make it much more efficient. I'm very glad I added that uh, lawnmower wheel on top too. I think it's kind of like a heat exchanger. 
so that when the heat does go up it warms that as well and uh, i think it looks better like that too myself with that lawnmower wheel on there but uh it's like a heat exchanger because that wheel heats up and it it, it holds the heat before it goes through the pipe so it helps a lot i believe just an old lawnmower wheel <laughs> works great very happy with it this thing will look great once i paint it the door and latch and everything.